guys welcome back to my channel yet again today <laughs> i'm so excited i don't know if you can tell but today i am going to be filming a very special video and when i say special it's because i've never done this before and it's not like in my comfort zone i've never made things out of other things have i no actually i haven't i haven't oh i have i'm making chicken out of flour these are one of my favorite videos i'm actually going to be making um <laughs> i'm going to be making some pulled pork tacos out of banana peel <laughs> Um, yeah, you, yeah, I'm going to be making some tacos, pulled pork tacos out of banana, but not the flesh, no, not the flesh, no, no, I'm, I'm not basic, I'm going to shock you today, I am making it out of banana peel, this, this thing on the outside that we usually discard, yes, we're not throwing it away today, today, I'm going to show you how this wonderful fruit is actually, can serve many purposes and can be eaten, you know, in some cultures, when they kill a cow, I'm sorry to bring this up for those of you that are a bit queasy about that. They ensure that they respect the cow or something like that and by eating the whole cow, including the heels. And I would know because I've seen people cook heels and ears and weird stuff. So in that same vein, I'll be making some pulled pork sandwiches out of the peel as well. Anyway, and in that same vein, I'll be using the entirety of the banana. I'm not going to be using the inside. I'll be using the inside for something else, maybe a dessert or something, or oats tomorrow morning. Um, but I will be using the peels. Um, yeah, and just by the way, this is not poisonous. I looked it up. I ensured I did my research. Um, actually, banana peels are actually famous for being really high in antioxidants that, that can help clear your body of the cancer-causing radicals. You know, the point is, this is very healthy. So I'm really excited to try. I've never done this before, and I'm actually very hungry. So I'm excited. I'm really excited, and I hope that you are too. If you're interested to see how this um, experiment turns out, then please. Keep on watching. So what you first want to do is to unpeel your banana and then cut off the ends like that. And then next what you want to do is remove by scooping out the flesh part. I mean, I know the fleshy parts of the banana is already out, the main fruit. But we're also removing these little strings as well until all we have is like the skin skin without the white things. I'm, I'm not quite sure what these things are called. But yeah, that's what you want to do next. Um, for demonstrative purposes, that's what it looks like when you've peeled it back that's what i mean that's what we're getting rid of so um it's easier if you use a spoon now that i have removed the phloem bundles um that's what it looks like it looks a bit leathery um and the reason why my banana looks this brown on the outside is because i like to have my bananas sweet and ripe so it's fine if your skin is green it's actually more beneficial if it's green um but it's also fine if it has spots on it it's fine because we want a dark colored meat anyway so that's what it looks like after i've cut it up if you want you can shred it with a fork i just use a knife to cut it into strips and similarly also cut my onion half of an onion that i used in the same way and then fried it up in a tablespoon of oil after which i added in about half a teaspoon of cumin seeds just to really um, enhance the pungent flavor of the cumin that I'm going to be adding to the banana strips as well. I just really love cumin. You don't have to do this, but I'm doing this because I love cumin. And at this stage, I am just tempering the seeds together with that the onion so that it can become nice and fragrant in the kitchen and I also added in a little bit of salt so that I can cook down the onions better until they're golden brown. Now moving on to my spices. In there I have half a teaspoon each of ground cumin, white pepper and my chicken seasoning. You can use any chicken seasoning you like um, and I also added in the same quantity about half a teaspoon as well of mixed herbs and half a teaspoon of smoked paprika this is very important of course if you don't have smoked paprika then you can just use normal paprika but this really does something the smokiness and if you don't have smoked paprika but you have liquid smoke please use that as well it's just a bit more pricier so i, I wouldn't assume people just have that and then i'm also adding in the seasoned salt which is black pepper and garlic seasoned salt so it already has salt in it that's why i don't have to add any more salt and lastly i'm also adding in the garlic ginger and chili paste 
and a squeeze of half a lemon i didn't actually squeeze all the juice out because the banana that i actually ended up yielding was not as much as i thought i would so i could say it was a quarter of an onion and then after mixing that all together i added that into the pan so that it could fry and what you want to do is to cook this until it is soft and luckily since it was very ripe the banana itself the skin isn't too tough um compared to if you cooked a green um peel instead of a very ripe one like mine so it didn't take that long to cook but you still want to ensure that it's cooked up so i would say you should cook it with the lid closed for about five minutes and just ensure that you are stirring it around so that it doesn't burn here as you can see i added in about two tablespoons of water to remove the bottom lovely flavor that has accumulated there um yeah to deglaze the pan basically and so that it can cook better with the water i just thought it would help to steam the skin better um and five minutes later this is what it looks like G guys like hmm, i'm not even gonna just just watch the, the wonderful thing i'm gonna create with this just watch watch this pace mine I must say, it's not chewy like meat, but the flavor though, and also it doesn't taste like banana at all. And now I'm just going to serve, so. Bad-do-sole, bad do